welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm gonna um pretty much talk about basil um so yeah let's get started basically someone reached out to me on my business email address and um essentially what had happened is she had three birds two of them being australian budgies or fancy budgies and she managed to sell those two but the person she sold them to put it back up on Kijiji to resell those birds and she really didn't want the same outcome to be with Basil. She really wanted, you know, Basil to go to a home where, you know, she wanted someone trustable basically. She wasn't necessarily saying, hey, do you want to keep it? But um, I just wanted to ask a few questions. And she pretty much said that her work situation is going to change in about a month and that she couldn't care for Basil. And Basil was going to come for free. So the cage was free, the toys were for free, and pretty much everything else. So, you know, I asked a few questions about Basil. And I also had a very important conversation with the owner regarding basil um basically i agreed to keep basil but i just wanted um you know her to be updated um on a few stuff one of that was that i did plan on taking basil to the vet regularly so i don't want her to be worried basil i mean that's the same with all my birds they're all gonna see avian vets every six months covid is making it a bit tricky but hopefully i have my reading week not next week um, because it's all my midterm but the week after I have my reading week which pretty much means I'm gonna be doing nothing so Basil will actually be seeing the vet because I have free time so I'm going to be taking Basil to the vet and I'll you know I'll videotape some stuff for you guys and yeah it'll, I think I'll just be fun um, so yeah I let her know that I will be taking Basil um, every six months to the vet the other thing I let her know is my intentions um, keeping basil with muffin i just wanted to be 100 percent transparent with her and with you guys that i planned on keeping basil with um muffin it's been like a week since she has been introduced to muffin and i'm not going to show you guys the introduction video simply because when muffin and um, basil were meeting um i also had kiwi edward and blossom they all kind of met her at once and it was a bit hectic and to be honest i was more concerned about safety stuff yeah they they are now i think people are gonna wonder this they are now in the same cage um basil doesn't mind muffin at all um yeah and i know a lot of people already probably know this but muffin is blind and she's the most tamest bird so my concerns wasn't actually for muffins and it was more like how will basil react to muffin muffin reacts to everyone very well um she's extremely tame for a parrot so even my vet say that like she's extremely tame so because of that i had no concerns for muffins and um she was gonna get along with basil perfectly fine if basil got along um and basil actually was completely fine with muffin being around she she had no interest they are in the same cage um it took only like two three days where i had their cages side by side introduced them because it was going to be in basil's cage i made sure to rearrange everything inside the cage and then um they spent the day together i also slowly did this like every day i wouldn't just shove muffin in i would introduce them and then you know i kind of built up on it and now they are in the same cage and everything seems to be going perfectly fine now if it didn't i always have extra cages so i always have plan b's in fact a lot of people just have plan b's i have plan c plan d plan e plan f so i mean if things didn't work out i even explained this to her it was completely fine basil was still gonna get the same treatment the same cage, I would have just got a new cage for Muffin because, um, yeah, I didn't really like the small cage with her. So that's basically what had happened from that end. Um, as for Basil's diet, she has been eating everything that is not pellets and that is not veggies. Um, typically, it takes a while, especially for budgies. Um, I did notice that she prefers top pellets because I have quite literally, I have Harrison's, I have tops, and I have Rowdy Bush. I do find that Basil prefers top pellets, um, but then Muffin prefers Harrison pellets, 
and it's so funny because they already now know which um, food bowl is theirs because I have multiple in the cage um, regardless if your bird is disabled or not you should have multiple um, you know food bowls if you have multiple birds in a cage and they kind of know which end is theirs so for basil I put top pellets and then for muffin I put hair thin pellets now I do plan on transitioning to tops but I have to make sure all my birds like it and then down the line I still will probably end up always switching my pellets around it's just I never stick to one and my birds always kind of lose interest in one pellet and I'm always switching stuff around so I mean yeah we're gonna try tops for now but she seems to like top pellets her veggies on the other hand she hasn't really shown much of an interest to be honest and uh, she seems to really like uh, seeds so yeah um, we are transitioning to um, you know veggies but it seems like with basil it's gonna take a while but you know we're working on it and she seems interested but she's not really eating it so <laughs> we're just working on it as for toys she prefers a lot of shreddable toys which isn't too surprising she didn't really seem interested in bells and you know like with edward edward really likes those noisy toys but basil just like kiwi would prefer shreddable toys so i have a lot of shreddable toys so that works perfectly fine and yeah as for basil's health um i don't have much information actually um yeah as you guys know we're gonna see the vets about in about two weeks so because like i said next week we're not gonna be seeing anyone i have my midterms the week after i'm completely free so a vet visit is gonna be absolutely necessary and hopefully i could get a baseline on basil um i think she should be around i did weigh her i think she should be around Oh god, I don't know, maybe anywhere between 45 to 55 grams, which is actually completely normal for English budgies. They tend to be a bit more heavier and, you know, when we visit our vet, um, she'll actually let me know how she's doing, if she needs to gain a bit more or lose a bit more. She seems like a healthy weight, maybe a bit too fluffy, but hopefully... We'll see, we'll see. She doesn't seem too bad. She actually had breakfast, so her crop is a bit like enlarged but um other than that she seems fine so as for basil's feathers i don't know if you can see but i'll probably zoom in um it's growing a tiny little bit she still can't fly well to be honest she'll kind of plummet it's just it's quite literally just like that distance like quite literally from here to here and i think she pooped on me and then she'll just plummet to the floor so yeah she can't fly well um but it's okay and I actually got my top. I did post it on my community section, but if you guys don't know, my top writes birds are prettier with their wings. So I don't know. You probably can see it. Um, if you guys are interested, you guys could check the description down below or the store is right beside my community section. If you guys want to buy it, you guys could go and ahead and buy it, I guess. And it has like a very cute bird picture at the back. I'll show you guys an image somewhere here and it's really cute so if you guys want to buy that you guys can so yeah now on a final note i do want to end it with that basil is stepping up but yeah it would probably take a while for her to be completely comfortable with me and that's fair i mean she, you know i do have an unfair advantage in the sense that she is clipped but once her feathers grow out, I could actually tell a bit better what her temperament is. I mean, she may seem a bit docile now, but I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that her feathers are clipped. I mean, if her wings were completely full and if she was fully flighted, I might have had a different reaction when it comes to taming and stuff. And, you know, I have to work with what I have and hopefully once it starts growing out, I could tell a bit better what her temperament is like. But all my birds have... You know tameness wise all of them step up i mean obviously and all of them you know listen i guess um the one thing that basil does which i'm completely avoiding is that she likes to go on my shoulder whenever she's on my finger and for the past two weeks we have avoided that um i find that she doesn't really like being on my finger and when she's stressed out she'll just climb right away up and go on my shoulder the issue with that is that when i ask her to come down she will not come down i could talk in a different video about why you know having your bird on your shoulder is not always the best you know thing but yeah 
She's only allowed on my fingers until she is completely tame and until she listens and when I, if she were to ever go on my shoulder and if she comes back off, like if I tell her to step up and she steps back up, then she could still be on my shoulder but right now if she were to go on my shoulder, she actually won't come back down. So because of that, I don't prefer her to be on my shoulder. Do you want to step up? Come here. So see, she steps up very well. She's, she's really cute. I mean, that's it. I mean, I really have nothing else to add. Come here, step up, baby. Okay, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. I know you guys wanted a small update, and that's the small update I have for you guys. Again, if you guys want to buy this hoodie, um, I'll have it in the description down below. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye-bye.